Welcome back to my channel. I am doing this festive series and this is the third and the last video that I'm posting for the festive season as of now. But today's look, I've gone a little extra on my eyes, there's a lot of glitter. Well, it's a nice bold look that you can carry for a nighttime party or an event. So I hope you like this video and I hope you would recreate this. Please tag me in your pictures if you do and don't forget to like this video before you leave my channel and um, subscribe to my channel as well. So yeah, without talking too much, let's get into the video. So starting with the face, I've already done my base here and I will put an in-depth video on how to do your foundation on the card above so don't forget to check it out. Then starting with the eye makeup, uh, well I'm going to take Translucent Powder by Krylin in the number TL11 and I'm just going to put it under my eye. I also wanted to bake my face so this is what I'm doing. Well, uh, you can also start the eye makeup first and then do the base but since I wanted to keep this video a little short for you so I already did my base before filming and so I I'm doing the baking now. Once that's done, I'll go ahead and do my eyebrows with the pack eyebrow definer that I've been using for quite some time now. And I'm going to go ahead and define my eyebrows. Make sure that you don't overline it, don't make it too fat, don't make it too thin. Just keep it as natural as you can and just fill in the gaps. Then taking the Urban Decay Electric palette, I'm using this orange shade, it's called Slow Burn and I'm just going to go and apply it on my crease and I'm just going to blend it out. Um, I'm using this as a transition shade, so this is something I'm packing it on my crease already and just defining it. Make sure you blend really well. Always remember whenever you put eyeshadow, be it any color, if you don't blend it nice, it won't look flawless. Then taking this beautiful brown shade from the Pretty Incredible palette by Makeup Revolution. Well, uh, the shade is called Distinguish and I'm just gonna pack it well on the outer corner of my eyes. Make sure that when you're packing this color, it is slightly below the crease line. As you see when you look up and there's that hollow that's created, that's where you pack in the darkest shade and the transition shade will come above it now make sure to blend it really well if you want your eye makeup to be very precise uh, you can use any tape on the outer area of your eyes and just tape them well and then go ahead and do your eyeshadow so you'll get a very sharp line then again going with the orange transition shade i'm just gonna blend all of that really well i don't want any sort of uh, defining lines i don't want then taking the pretty incredible palette again and using the breathtaking shade for my transition uh, as you've seen i already used an orange shade but this is more on a peachier side and it's a little soft then from the same incredible palette i'm taking this shade exceptional which is a beautiful gold as you see it's highly pigmented and i really love the way it looks well i'm gonna place it uh, from my inner corner to the middle area of my eyelid as you see make sure to always first place your eyeshadows especially these glitter ones with your finger because um, you see how pigmented that looks uh, well brush won't give you the same effect again going in with the brown shade uh, which is called distinguished i'm applying it on the outer corners of my eyelid since i put glitter a little bit of the particles came to the outer area of my eyes so i'm making sure the browns are still highlighted so i'm going to pack some more onto the outer area and just blend it all in Then finally taking the breathtaking shade for my transition, um, I'm just gonna apply that and just blend it all out for the last time. Doing the same thing on my lower lash line as well, I'm just gonna pack the brown color very close to my lash line and I'm just gonna smoke that out. Then going ahead with the same breathtaking shade, I'm gonna blend it all in. Taking a clean brush, I'm just going to dust off the excess powder and also the main reason why I applied the powder is because since I was using this eyeshadow which had glitter, a, a lot of excess product falls on the face so I was just protecting my foundation with it. Then using my LA Girl setting spray, I'm just going to spray it on my face and I'm just going to blend it all in for the last time. I'm just making sure that all the excess powder and everything is all settled in and nice and all the excess product is taken off from my face. 
then taking the miss claire blusher palette in the number two and i'm going to take the cooler shade for my contour and just going to contour the areas where i would require that shadow so i'm going to do it very close to my cheekbone and my nose and then my jawline then from the same palette i'm going to mix these two pinks and i'm going to apply it on the apples of my cheek then taking the pretty incredible palette and I'm using this shade you are unstoppable for my highlighter and I'm going to highlight the higher points of my face. So make sure you always highlight your cheekbone, your nose, your brow bone, your um, cupid's bow. Also don't forget to highlight above your eyebrows as well and uh, also a little bit on your chin. Well if you have a deep neck going on make sure you get those collarbones really well and just highlight it. Using the same highlighter shade for my inner corner, I'm just going to apply it generously very close to the inner corner. I'm just going to drag it a little bit on my lower lash line as well but very slightly. Taking this MAC lip pencil in the shade Cherry, I'm just going to fill it in really well. Well, this is the base but I'm also using it as a lipstick and I'm going to add some more color to it. Once that's done, I'm just going to take Huda's Matte Liquid Lipstick. I'm sorry, I've forgotten the name, but I'll put it down in the description. And I'm going to make these tiny dots, as you can see, and I'm just going to blend that all really well. Then I'm going to take this Kajul Pencil and draw some small lines. Well, this is a very good hack if you don't have a darker shade. Mix it with the lip pencil or a lipstick and just create your own shade. I'm just going to take this lip brush and I'm just going to blend all of the colors. And we're almost done with the look. And that's all for today's video. I hope you like this look. I know it was a lot of blending and a lot of colors but i hope i could help you out and make this a little simple for you guys if you like this video please don't forget to comment down below and also don't forget to like this video please share it with the people you can and also please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell to be notified when i upload new videos also i have changed the day when i upload my videos um, so i upload videos on every monday now at 9 pm and i'll put all the links to the products that i've mentioned in the video in the description down below so don't forget to follow me out on on Instagram as well and am I forgetting something yeah if you have any video requests please don't forget to leave it down below I would like to read that I hope you enjoyed and I will see you very soon bye bye